Okay, let's have a look. Why are you just sitting here, by the way? Like, you're against a melee champion. Why aren't you moving? If that's another jungler, you can always just ward here, yeah? So if you're scared of getting level 3 or level 2, just ward there. Um, be careful though, if you're against a ranged champ, you still want to be there for the first minion, yeah? So, but against Arkali, you're always, always going to have a push here. What'd you do here? Do you auto-attack the minion? Auto-attacking the first minion's fine. But just relax after this, mate. Right, let me fucking sit up straight. <laughs> Good. Move up, move up. Right, okay. So, you moving up before, right? A couple of things here, mate. It's actually like good, Hados. But this here is good. You can't move like this because you gotta like fucking move back for the minions anyway. So, the minion wave is too like... How do I put it? Um, Too thick, mate. This is too thick, yeah? I'll spell thick like this because I think you'll understand this. It's too thick. So... Running through it and trying to like push Arkali off the wave, it's never going to happen. She can actually probably just hold and like trade with you. Anyway, this is all good here. Once the melees are dead, and also here, like just not using any cooldowns is excellent. Like, really good. You're just holding it right until she goes for them. Now, once you clear all the melees, now you talk about now, this is now, that's where you go. Because look at the difference between this and the thick minion wave. We don't care about these three ranged minions doing damage, right? So here, you can actually move up. Now, you might have to be a little bit careful if she starts E or something, right? So you might have to space that or just expect it. But I think you can actually just move up here. And what's probably going to happen is if she doesn't have E, she's just got to run back, bro. Like, she can't do anything. If she has E, then she'll just go for it. And the trade there as well is actually probably not even that bad for you. She has TP as well, right? It's probably important to think about. She have TP, just confirm that, because I think I saw it. Uh, that auto attack is not worth hit the minion. Last hit the minion, yeah? Yeah, so she has TP, right? So even if she does E into you, it's almost like you want her to E into you. Because that's why as well, like, corrupting so useful, yeah, in these matchups. Because you're going to hit her a lot with auto attacks, bro. Like, most of your damage in this lane is going to be auto attacks. So if you're trading HP and while you're trading, obviously corrupting, like, the value there is good, because you're getting HP back and you're also damaging her. She's going to be, like, in melee range of you. So your auto attacks are actually, like, really useful. So corrupting just becomes more valuable. And, yeah, that auto attack there on the minion. Just get the gold. And then after this, you can move like this. Yeah, so, like, your clicks here. Why are you clicking back? You probably could have gotten, like, maybe two more auto attacks there. You see, like, how you just click back immediately? This is a level 1 Akali, bro, who starts Q. Even there, right? Like, you're standing all the way back here. It's almost like you're you're playing as if she's shit. You're playing hoping that she's going to just go for a last hit here, which she does, and she probably will, right? But the point I'm making is, why don't you do the same shit here and push her off? Or try to, anyway. And when she moves up and cues you, bro, you should be happy now. Like, your clicks here, look. Look what your mouse is. Like, what are these clicks? They should be here, and just at her. Maybe even like this, right? And if she moves towards you with her passive, you move back, and when she moves away again, then you click forward again. Yeah? These clicks are like fucking as if you're getting scared of like a jungle gank or something. So, these clicks here, mate. No, 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 no. At her. Don't hit the minions. Okay, so she probably has energy for Q. Good. It's 130, right, at level 1. So always think about that. That's kind of okay, but I'd rather you just, like, maybe hold this. Uh, what what the fuck did you do here? Because you're two off this minion, right? And and another point here, you can hit two a lot closer to her there. So, in this position, again, you can be, like, here. So, you're pretty much saying... Like, like think about this, Hado. So, if you're here, you can auto-attack her, and you can 
E her, maybe, when it comes back up. You'll probably be, like, still close to her. Yeah, just where you're positioning Vex, mate. Like, one auto attack there, I reckon it could have been two more if she goes for that last hit. And where you're last hitting this from, it can be much further up. So watch. Right? So these clicks are kind of okay, but why click back? Why click back here? Stand there. Why click it back again? Like, that auto attack, okay, fine. But why are we clicking over here now? Click here, man. Get into her. Get as close as possible. Like, these clicks are good at her. But fucking, you forget to control Q, right? So, yeah, I mean, that's just on you, mechanically. Like, I can't teach you there. I can't come around and hold your pinky for you and press it into Q, right? When you hit level 2. Um, and yeah, if you actually had your Q there, I don't mind what you did. Okay, you can put a ward down there. Excellent. Oh my god, we're fucking actually playing quite well here, mate. Uh, that ward I don't like. Just ward, bro? Fucking here. Like, you want to get back mid, mate, and, like, pressure her, right? Yes, I know it's risky, but against any jungler here, like, if I'm playing a jungler who can level 3 gank you, I don't really want to gank you. Because I have an Akali mid who's shit. You're a Vex as well. And J4 is, like, an active jungler, so he can easily counter. Like, I'm never going to gank you here, and if he does, you should be happy. But you also want to pressure Akali. Like, if I'm a melee champion, like, if I'm playing Zed, right? I'm super fucking happy you're going to ward somewhere that you don't need to ward. Like, you don't need to ward the blue buff. I didn't even jungle track this game, right? Because it doesn't matter. But, it does matter, but... It doesn't matter for now. You just fucking put a ward, like, there. Or you can put one there. I actually like this, because you spot that, and you also spot him if he comes around the back, mate. This one will not spot him coming around your, your raptor's wall. Same thing for the other side. So one, like, at the edge of this rock, like, right here, is clean. Covers everything. Then you can just get back mid and, and start winning again. Instead, we spend an extra, like, 10 seconds, right? Because that's about fucking 6 or 7. Probably even more than that. Let's count. Just proving a point. I know it's annoying to watch, but again, I want you guys to, to feel the pain, mate. To feel the fucking pain here. Like, we could be now running back mid and hitting Arkali over the head. Which is what she doesn't want. Like, you can easily, bro, have like a 10, 15, 20 CS lead by, I don't know, like, wave 5. Probably not wave 5, 6, but pretty early on. Another thing, there was one pro game I remember watching, and it was Caps playing Syndra. Similar kind of matchup here against Arkali, where you just hard win early game. And he was that interested in the enemy jungler in a pro game. He went like this. And I'm not even fucking joking, mate. Went like this on Syndra. Arkali, after like the next wave or so, like when Caps got mid, it was like 20 versus 20 CS. Arkali wins. Like, it's, a, it's just a huge win for that champion. Because Caps went to like, I don't know. Help Yankos do some shit. But it was just such a waste of time. So this ward legit does less than that ward. And Akali now is actually going to hit level 3 fucking, you know, just free of charge. Mm-hmm. I mean, look at look how, look how aids this now is. Like, now she has the pressure, right? Because she's 3. Like, how shit? You want her to hit level 3 on 200 HP. If she hits it on full HP, it's because you've, you've denied, like, all the CS in the game. You should hit 3 off this, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you even miss experience here, Hados, by the way. Like, that minion there should be level 3, by the way. So, just like, you probably watched a skill cap video, mate, where they told you to go ward fucking blue buff. Um, it's missed you a bit of experience, and now Akali is actually ahead of you. Just in terms of how this matchup should play out. Yeah, you can pressure the cannon. She doesn't have W, right? Good. Very nice. Maybe, like, you could even, or, like, maybe think of holding it there, but honestly, fucking good, mate. Very nice. Yeah, Wade's pushing to you here. I'll just auto-attack it a little bit, right? Because just in case she starts queuing it. Like, Akali here should be really aggressive. Her W will be close to coming back off cooldown. Karzik is top, which is useful. Like, she should be really aggressive here with the wave. She also has TP. So, even if she fucks the wave up, she can come back. If she trades with you, she can come back and actually sort the wave out. It's risky because of J4, of course. But, um, yeah, she needs to go kind of nuts here. So, if I was you, I would just try to thin this out as much as possible. Hit the cannons, hit the melees. Even, like, if you queue her like that and hit some of the wave, it's good. But you see, like, the wave here, how it's now building and building. So, you have to have foresight, yeah? With this wave. Because now, like... You could have potentially held this up, and I reckon you easily could have done. <coughs> you kind of have, but yeah. Okay, that Q is good. 
Oh, maybe because it's gonna like ruin that minion's HP. Okay, that's fine. But yeah, now you're um. Ugh. This is where corrupting, mate. You're running mana flow. Okay. Probably should have looked at uh, your runes. Mana flow is probably important to think about a little bit, but still, I don't think it matters too much. In fact, it doesn't matter. Like playing against these players, it definitely doesn't matter. You can just beat them. So. This lane, bro, to me, is just like, first of all, because you don't auto-attack the wave there, you have to use spells, which is why you're in. And also, you just going to ward like that just loses you the lane. Like, straight up. Even if you're ahead of Akali, and, like, if you have five more CS, it's still a loss. That's yeah, whatever, you miss them, you have to be here. You have to be, you have to be, you have to be, you have to be. Please just base, please just fucking base, please base, you're an auto-attack vex, please base. All right. This Akali goes to move here, right? But, bro, you, what are you going to do? Also, if Akali was to, like, recall here, because I wasn't really looking at the map. But, um, yeah, I thought Akali was just going to recall and TP back on the cannon. Um, and, uh, yeah, okay. So as soon as you see her here, bro, like, regardless of what she does there, Hados, you have to recall, mate. This is a cannon wave as well, so four minutes, right? So two and a half, four, five and a half. So every 90 seconds, cannons. So you should know this is a cannon. So as soon as you see, like, maybe 350 approaching four minutes, cannon wave next, I have a, a bit of recall, right? But, but yeah, what are we doing, man? What are we doing? And this Arkali as well. Like, how do you think this Arkali should be playing this lane? Like, given the summoner spell situation and given your mana. Like, look how nice she is. Bro, she should be just, like, trying to run at you. Whenever she can. Maybe she's scared of, like, Pike roaming and J4 coming mid. But as long as she holds E, she should be sweet. And she's got Karzix as well, like, on the map live. I, I just fucking... I think both of you are somewhat trolling, mate. Like, like her shoving now. Look at... How can she shove this now? She's got to slow push this. Like, she can't shove this in time. Like, if she was going to hard push, she needs to go, like, a lot harder, right? Sooner. Look at the next wave, mate. It's right there. And now she's staying in lane again, and so are you. Oh. Bro, this just reminds me, like, every time I see this, I just want to, like, show. Okay, your fucking mouse here is really weird. I just want to show, like, fake is best ever playmate in solo queue. Okay, your mouse here is just really, uh, questionable, mate. Your mouse should be, like, kind of... Well, it's on the edge of your screen, right? If you're gonna, like, cue her here, look where your mouse is. Like, how is your mouse over there? Like, it's over here somewhere. It should be, like, maybe behind her or kind of in front of her. Like, just anywhere around her, I guess. But your mouse is over there. If your mouse is, like, where you're kind of moving, and you just flick your mouse through, it's a lot easier, right? Flick, and then you come back. Flick, and then you come back. Flick, and then you come back. Instead of going... Auto the minions. Auto the fucking minions earlier, bro. Like... Hit the minions, that's it. Hit them again. Keep hitting them. Keep hitting them. Keep hitting them, man. Keep hitting the minions, bro. Oh. Oh. Like, auto attacks on her, Hados, mean nothing now. Like, absolutely nothing. So, yeah, that's one thing we can improve. Well, there's fucking been 15 already. Um. And, and I've made great points. <laughs> Sorry, I was gonna fucking meme there, but, um. Yeah, anyway. Your position... On the first few waves, especially in these matchups against any melee champion on Vex, you crush them. You're playing as if you're super scared of enemy jungle when there's nothing to be scared of. How you're controlling waves as well with auto attacks, you're just not auto attacking. You're letting the wave build and build, and then it's too late. So then you've got to use cooldowns on the wave and you're oom. So you can't even hit the enemy champion now at that point. Your base there, bro, you have to fucking recall when you're oom like that, and it's on a cannon wave. And like I said... Okay, there's a fire topside there, but if Arkali, like, recalls and comes back with TP on the cannon wave, she actually just wins the lane. Just wins the lane. Also, I don't like Blasting Wand. I think you need mana against these champs, right? Because you should probably know she's taking second wind. She doesn't have bone plating. So she's taking second wind with a D shield, right? I'm pretty sure. So a Blasting Wand, you can't one-shot her. You just cannot one-shot this champion. How you get through them is just with, like, mana. And I guess the amount of abilities. If that was, um, let's say, a fucking Zed, right? 
If that was a Zed, I like Blasting One a lot more because Zed's going to have Longsword. You can actually one-shot him and get through him. Yeah, with your ult. But in this matchup, I really don't like Blasting One. You'd need mana. Against Yasuo, same shit. If they start like D-Shield, even if they had D-Blade right, they've got HP from it, sustain. It's annoying to get through. Okay, you should be like fucking pretty much killing her when you hit level 6. Hit the cannon, bro, and hit 6. Hit the cannon and hit 6. You can kill her easy. She's got nothing, mate. Like, look how close you are. Yeah, yeah. Keep auto attack. Hit the hit. No, no, oh. So, I appreciate it, Hados, that you're super focused on her, right? Which is great. And there's definitely like an improvement. But now it's about doing everything at once, yeah? So, when you come back here, the reason I know you're 6 of this, I don't even need to look at the XP bar, is because it's the third cannon, right? So, 5.30 to 6 minutes, you'll hit 6 on that wave. You should know, when you come back to mid here, that you are that wave away from 6. And when this player uses W, which I doubt she'd have, it's on like, what, a 20-something second cooldown, she's not going to have it. And here as well, she doesn't have any energy. Her Q's still going to cost like 90, 100 energy. Okay, she hits 6. There's her E though. No Shroud still. All she has is pretty much ult and Q. That's it. Okay, there's her Q. Now she can't use it again, right? Look at her energy, it's 50. And now you are just like one minion, that cannon, away from six. So you there, you can easily skill your... I mean, there's a shroud again, right? So you can easily skill... Not skill, sorry. But you can just like run like this. Hit the cannon with your Q. If you need a last hit it, you last hit it. Pop your health potion just in case. And then you kill her. With ignite. It's just a free kill, right? She doesn't have ignite, it's TP. So this is just a kill. Don't let her base here. Super important. If she gets a base off, fucking aids. That pink as well, put it further back so you can protect it better. Don't put it further, like, closer to her side. Put it on your side. Right, now we don't even stop her base, yeah? So we just let her base for free. If I'm Arkali now, I'm super fucking grateful that you didn't punish this. Yep, and then she TPs. We missed, like, all the minions as well. Like, just use your W, bro, to soften them up, like... The Q, I guess, is fine, but that E... Do you hit all the minions here with your E? Let me just check. Right, so pink ward your side. There. You actually miss the minions with your E, bro. Put the E in the middle. Then Q. Move, W. You just one-shot them, right? How long have I gone for, by the way? Oh, it hasn't been that long, eh? How long has it been? 20 minutes? It's been 30. I'm off. Oh, please get... I mean, you should probably just get a health potion there, right? Jesus Christ, look at that ribbon. Akali's top, killing the J4. Did you ping? Okay. Well, you know she TP'd Hados, right? So... Okay, you did ping. Excellent. Um, I was talking to someone who's... um, Yeah, like Diamond EUS support. And getting used to pinging like... I should actually play that, okay. Actually pinging where the enemy champion is going to be, right? So, let's say the enemy support goes missing, yeah? Enemy support goes missing. Oh my god, question mark, question mark. They're missing, they're missing. It's, it's actually like the most useless ping in the world, I swear. I mean, it's not actually that useless, but... um, The point is, why can't we just make a bit of an effort to ping actually where they're probably going to be? Like, if Pike goes to Rome, where's he going to roam? Probably around these areas, right? When Akali roams here, is she going bot to dive? Of course not. You know, and anyone knows, even if you're in like bronze, that Akali's gonna go top here. She TPs, doesn't show on the wave, what the fuck? Probably going like that. So you can ping this area, tab, ping Akali. We can be better here. Imagine if J4, right, by the way, like, what do you guys think of this mechanic? If J4, like, moves back a little bit and knocks Akali up, watch. So, wait until she E's, and then... Move back, and then EQ. Oh! Probably doesn't do anything, actually. He probably still dies, right? And if you stop at base, Hadoff, she doesn't happen like none of that happens, right? 
bro, like how you clear minion waves here is fucking like Oh man, it's it's making me uh I don't want to say cringe, but you know. Like bro, just I don't even know what you're doing. Let me figure this out. Okay, I don't even like you using E here, man. Like on these on these minions, like on ranged minions, do you really have to E here? Like, just soften them up with autos, right? Auto the middle one. Auto the middle one. Auto the middle one, like, twice, right? And then you Q. And they're all dead. Now, right, with the next wave, you have E. So now, you just auto, auto. Stand closer to them here, where the, this melee is. Q like this, so it hits all of them. Okay, your Q hits all of them. That's good. Well, actually, I missed that second melee. So again, Q. Fucking on top of yours, right there. And if you had your E here, you just E them all, right? Maybe even before you Q. Actually, probably not, because your Q's on such a low cooldown. But you get my point. Like, this is kind of unclean, mate. We don't need to do this, Hados. We can get all of these, right, for free. These are free minions. There's no pressure. Right, why are you roaming like this as well? If you're going to roam bot, yeah, like, are you scared of a... Who's that jungler? Like, Karzix, who's dead? Like, why are you running into the river here? The tower can't see you, bro. <laughs> What's top? Yeah, bro, look at Wudon. Wudon is playing against invisible Teemos now. Like, this Rome I actually like, but... Isn't she... Is she in a brush or not? Did she actually back off? Okay, she actually back... Right, so now, right, now you go back mid. Because now you know, Hados, you can't kill us. And now you go back mid. Bro, I actually want to live coach you after watching this. Fuck's sake. Like, these games are so free, you know? Like, now you don't... Now you know 100% you can't kill her. It'd also be useful to know... Wait, hang on a second. Bro, why are you... You're doing with your brother, mate. On the main account. This is your main, right? Oh. Like, it's actually funny, Hados. When we 1v1, you played the lane, like, pretty well. And you didn't base, like, you know... You base when you were oom um and shit. Matt's P1, man. I don't give a fuck, bro. Oh! Ugh. Oh. Yeah, this is important as well. Like, when you go down, you should even, like, ask, right? Um, for flashes and shit. Like, as soon as you go down here, yeah? You don't need to look at yourself. Just macro on the map, your clicks, and look at bot lane. And you can even type in chat, right? Like, if I press enter now, I don't know, in our chat, my chat rules have just come up for me. Um, you could type, like, Civ F, like this, right? Or you could say, I don't know, like, something like this, cooldowns. Just some shit like that. If they don't respond, they don't respond. But you have to know. Yeah, as soon as she runs back, bro, you can't kill her. Like, yeah, the wave is fucked, but she should definitely recall. Um, also, the fact that she will... Um, let me put it this way, right? People think, oh, that wave is fucked. Yeah, it kind of is, the position of it. But Siva is recalling after getting two kills. Bro, she'll be so fed, a freeze means nothing. Like, legit, they can probably 2v3 if they get ganked. And yeah, I'm pretty sure you've ganked this lane because your brother is going to, like, curb stomp you at the skate park later this, later this Arvo. <laughs> the J4's been put on the mute, mate. Imagine if you got hit by that rope. Okay, wait for the CC, Hados. What is that J4 pinging? I agree with him. Like, it sounds so toxic, right? Because, Hados, mate, I've got your back here, which is why I'm saying this shit. But um, if I was J4, I would probably ping as well. Like, like... What the fuck? Where the fuck are we throwing our cooldowns here? Wait for the J4's cooldowns. Wait for them. Now, we are auto-attack Vex again. Look at him, mate. He just, like, solo kills that Sivir. That's a solo kill. Just hit the mic. Yeah, how do we not get an assist there? Look at J4, mate. Imagine if you did not get that kill. I, I would be that tilted as J4. Like, he's he's... It sounds really fucking toxic, I know. But he's honestly got right to ping you there, like that. And you guys might be like, oh, my... <laughs> pissing me off, bro. <laughs> like, you guys might be like, man, that's so toxic to say. Are you kidding me? Like, have you guys ever played, like, competitive shit in your life? Like, people get emotional, bro. And if you, like, kind of troll, you're going to get shouted at. Like, it's just the way it is.
Fuck, make a mistake in a kitchen, mate, yeah? Did a bit of chefing, make a mistake? Oh, don't worry about it, man, it's all good. Just keep making it. No, mate. A fucking knife is gonna come at your head, yeah? Not really, but you get the point I'm making. Thick skin, yeah? Know that that was shit what you just did, and don't do it again and you're a better player for it. That's how you improve. <laughs> you're pissing me off. You're shit. <laughs> Mate, look at this mid-jungle synergy. Is this Luke and Shreddy? Holy fuck. Mad Dogs and Skate Park. Oh, Jesus. Still no pings, mate. That was a shit review. Hey, Dos, does, does all that make sense, mate? Like, actual. Yes, 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 yes. I mean, the funny thing is, bro, in this game, you are 3 CS behind Ikali, which is, yeah, just losing for you, right? But, like, how are you both even, man, in this game? That's the funny thing. I mean, I guess, like, that's why it's whatever reload this is, yeah? Like, like we should just expect it. Like, you playing like this is probably normal. And that's why you're in D4, yeah? That's not me being toxic as well. I'm just, like, stating the facts. But hopefully you can see that if you did even just a couple of these things, how it just changes everything, yeah? In an ELO like this.